Hi, and welcome to your second video, Relationships. Critical to anyone who wants to be a successful business brain. Why? Well, let me show you. This is your brain. Everyone's basically wired the same. In DNA terms, we're almost all identical. And our brains, generally speaking, are divided into two halves. The divided brain. And a lot of you may understand this because this is quite a commonly known uh, element in psychology. So you have the left side of the brain and you have the right side of the brain, clearly. But what we understand now is that either sides of these brains actually activate different uh, elements of thinking and cognitive awareness. So the left side of the brain is actually interesting because it's all about systems, processes, if you like, logic. It does like numbers, so if you're good at maths, you're probably quite preferenced based around the left side of the brain. If you like learning new languages, probably the same. It's linear, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you've got the right side of the brain, which is more about creativity and intuition. So if you enjoy sports, it's about spatial awareness. If you enjoy art, it's about colours, shapes and forms. And if you like people, it's about connecting with individuals. Now, neither of these sides of the brains are wrong. They're both great. What we want to try and do as a successful business brain is connect them both. Because in business, a lot of the elements you will have to get used to are built around the left side of the brain. Planning, organisation, IT systems. But also the right side of the brain, connecting with people, enjoying networking being creative. So what I want you to do now is think about this as a, as a toolkit, if you like, and jot down all the elements of your mission that are systems related and left side of the brain, that are process led, that you have to consider and think about. And then when you're doing that, also start considering the creative side, the intuitive side, the connecting with people, the designing a brand, for example, and think about all the elements in both sides and make a list of those. And think about them in more detail as we go through the programme, because this is relevant to every sort of video or step that we go through. OK? So welcome back. And hopefully you've thought about this in more detail. But how is this relevant to relationships? Well, it's about a relationship that you have with yourself. And I don't know whether you've heard about emotional intelligence or EQ, as it's known. But one of the elements of emotional intelligence is your ability to engage with yourself, have faith and have trust in who you are and what it means to you to be that super self, if you like, who's going to achieve that mission. And so when you're looking at the inside of your brain and thinking about how that projects to your business, it's making that connection with yourself because you're now building this ability to achieve your mission in more detail. And it's really important that you do this, the self-awareness piece, because do you know what? By doing this, you may realize that actually the mission you've put down, written down, drawn out may not be actually what you want. And that's important. You've got to ask yourself those questions. OK, and this will allow you this process will allow you to think about that in a bit more detail. So EQ is about self, but it's also about others. So let me explain this in terms of relationships. Self's the mirror, if you like, how you think about yourself and your mission and your values and your belief systems and how important that is to you. And that's great because people who have the mirrored self are quite self-aware and reliable. OK, the downside of being self is that sometimes you can't connect with other people because it's all about you. So you've got to be aware of that. OK, especially when you're trying to build a business, because it's all about connecting with other people. Others is kind of like windows. So you're looking from other people's points of view. You're walking in their shoes, if you like. And this is exceptionally good and useful when you're networking, when you're selling, when you're inspiring other people uh, on your mission. Uh, but also be careful with that, because sometimes you're putting people first before you. And any successful business brain knows it's got to be a balance. So EQ is about getting that balance. And when you put those two together, what tends to happen is you achieve the outcome that you're looking for in terms of people because relationships are critically important to any outcome. So the next exercise I want you to do is think about this and think about the people that you need to connect with. 
Okay, it could be employees, colleagues, peers, but it could also be people you need to sell and promote to and market your business to, people you need to network with. Think about the target markets that you need to focus on. And I really want you to go out there and spend again another hour, let's say, to think about those types of people and how you can start building those relationships. Hi, so hopefully you've examined your network and how other people can help you. So let me just advance that a little bit further for you. This is a great exercise for when you're networking. Let's take uh, a friend of mine. Let's call him Rob. Okay? Rob's fairly well connected, but can he help me network and manage my brand for me or with me? Well, yeah, he can. Let's look at how we view Rob in three different ways. Is Rob a credible individual? Is he good at what he does? Yeah, okay. So maybe I'll score him on a scale of one to three, three being really credible. I'll give him a three. Fantastic. Okay. Now then, how motivated is he with his attitude towards networking? Okay, his attitude, do you know what? He's okay. I'll give him a two out of three for that. Interesting. And also, how well connected is Rob? What's his network like? And on a scale of one to three, I'll give him a three as well. So when you weigh up the scoring, Rob is probably a good person to get talking to, to help you expand your brand and to put you out there in front of people. So it's well worth spending some time, maybe with a coffee with Rob, sitting down and saying, look, I can help you if you can help me. Let's look at your connections. Let's look at your network and look at mine and see where there are like-minded people within there and how can you connect me with those individuals. This is a really invaluable exercise. And go through it with your friends, your family, your colleagues, um, and think about building your network because, believe it or not, you may have some amazing opportunities within the people you already know. So the next exercise, go away and do this with as many people you can think of and think about how well connected they are or not as the case may be and then activate opportunities to sit down with them and talk them through it. But beware, don't just take from people. It's got to be a win-win. Relationships are all about that. It's give and take. Remember that when you go and do the exercise. Thank you.